Oh, hello, 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 hello. Hope everybody's doing good today, tonight, whenever you're watching this. It is September 21st, I believe. Right now, I'm just headed to work. You know, yes, I do have my full attention on the road. You know, I'm not trying to be distracted or anything by making this video. But honestly, this is something that I gotta say right now. So, you know, I keep seeing all these ads on YouTube, you know, people talking about how Biden is doing a damn good job for this country, and, you know, people are sitting there saying that he's brought jobs back, you know, he's helped people with this, 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 and that, blah, blah, blah. Then you got other commercials out there where people are like, it is none of your business, you know, somebody else's health decision that is their business, blah, 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 which, okay, the, the health decision thing, okay, I agree, you know, that, you know, I guess that's not a lie, but, you know, of course, when people talk about that, you know, nine times out of ten, they're mainly talking about the abortion bullshit, but hey, you know, if you sit there and refuse to, you know, get, you know, the needle that Democrats are trying to make everybody get, then you're not allowed to do this, 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 and that. Which I think is completely fucked up. But I'll kind of get into that. So, you know... I don't know where these people in these ads are getting all this information from, whether they're getting paid to say all this crap, or if they're not paying attention to what all is going on in this country. Because the way I see it with Biden and how jobs have been, I've seen quite a few jobs leave this country. I've seen a lot of businesses in my area close down. Ever since Biden became president. You know, when Trump was in office, yeah, I saw quite a few jobs come back. I saw more people working and all that. But with Biden's administration, no. Nah. No, I'm sorry. I don't buy that one bit. Like I said, I don't know if the people that are in these ads are even paying attention to what all is going on or whether or not they're just getting paid to say these things or if they just don't care. Or all of the above. One or the two or the three or the four, I guess. Either way, man, and even if Biden was doing a damn good job for this country, I still wouldn't respect the guy, because I'm sorry, but for all the things that has happened, and not just this country, but with other countries too, since Biden became president, you know, the whole Afghanistan nonsense, you know, where the Taliban took Afghanistan over after Biden decided to pull US troops out the way he did and abandoned you know millions and millions of dollars worth of military equipment in Afghanistan for the Taliban to take over and that's not just it either think about all the military members that were left for abandoned there not to mention military members that lost their lives in the Cabal explosion. Think about that. Oh, and the war between Russia and Ukraine. The way I see it with that war is that war probably would have never happened if Trump was still in office. 
You know, people sit there and say things like, oh, well, Putin loves Trump. You know, Putin, you know, it's no wonder why, you know, Putin, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know what, maybe that is the truth that Putin loves Trump. Because at least when Trump was in office, you didn't see Putin try to go after Ukraine. Or Russia go after Ukraine for the matter anyways. Now look, everybody's entitled to their opinions. You know what, maybe I'm seeing things a bit differently than what other people are seeing. But the way I see it with Biden and his ministry, administration is he's not bringing jobs back. I'm sorry, but that is a complete bullshit lie right there. I'm just saying. Now for the whole health decision thing that everybody wants to keep talking about. You know, in most cases, yeah, everybody is entitled to make their own decisions, okay? I will not disagree with that. But the only thing that people are really talking about is the abortion nonsense. Oh, well, it's my right to get an abortion and you can't say shit about it, blah, 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 blah. You know what? Clarence Thomas thought otherwise. Remember that. But, nah, you know, you know, people, you know, the sad thing is, is people don't do their research when it comes to the whole abortion thing. Like, okay, you know, I understand the whole health, rape, incest issue that, you know, people want to keep bringing up nonstop, even though those people probably don't even give two shits about that issue. But it's clear that people do not do their research. Because the thing is, it's not always the woman's decision as to whether or not they get that abortion. Either sometimes if something bad is happening with the baby, then, you know, sometimes it'll be the doctors saying, you know, not really his decision, but he'll sit there and say, you know, maybe it's best to get this baby aborted. Either that, or it's the woman's husband or boyfriend, or sometimes it's even their parents that have that woman get that abortion. Think about that. For you to sit there and say, oh, well, you know, it's a woman's right. And it's not always about women's rights right. The thing is, if that's the only th argument you're going to come up with every time somebody says either they're against abortion and that they don't support it for whatever reason, and that's the only answer you have, clearly you need to do your research. I'm just saying. But to everybody out there that's sitting there saying, my body, my choice when it comes to abortions, let me ask you something. Do you say the same thing when it comes to that, you know, that freaking vaccine that Democrats are trying to force everybody to get, that they've been trying to push people to get for like, damn near almost three years now if you had not a damn word to say about any of those things you really shouldn't even be speaking oh well my body my choice my body my choice my ass fuck off will ya Tell that to uh, the amount of men and the amount of parents out there that have either made their wife or girlfriend or their daughter get an abortion. Just saying. Or doctors, too.
like I said, you know, I am for certain exceptions out there like health or, you know, rape and, you know, incest, you know. I totally understand those right there. But as far as everything else, like, you know, I definitely don't think a woman should, you know, decide, oh, well, I want to get pregnant, you know, I'm going to go ahead and get pregnant. And then wake up the next morning and go, you know what, actually, I don't want this baby. I'm going to go ahead and get it aborted. That right there is where I draw the line. And if that right there pisses people off, here's what I have to say about that. Fuck you. Don't like my opinion? Oh well, not my fucking problem. But that's really all I gotta say for this video. I'm sure I pissed some people off for making, well, probably pissed a lot of people off for the matter for making this video. And you know what? Not my problem. If you got something you wanna say to me, I'd like to hear you say something. If you have, if you think differently, you know, in a respectful way, like you think maybe Biden has done a good job for this country, you know what? That's your opinion to think that way. And I respect that. But I'm not going to sit there and respect somebody that's a pedophile for the matter and likes to touch kids and younger women. That's all I'm going to say about that. Good day now.